The predominant church model in America, which I will define as attractional, develops all sorts of programs, meetings, services, and other church-related activities to compel or try to urge outsiders to leave their turf and join the culture of the Christian community. The challenge is that some will be drawn by these attractive methods, but there is still a large unchurched segment that no matter how many attractive methods are used, it will still not be compelling enough for them to attend a scheduled service. So, I want to propose an alternate posture called incarnational, which is the opposite of attractional, which calls believers to take a second level of commitment and embed themselves into the life and culture of the host community it seeks to reach with Jesus' love. Instead of striving to draw outsiders and extract them from their neighborhood, believers take the initiative and go forth into the host community to reach the unchurched on their turf with the good news. So the incarnational question is, how do we create a community for the unchurched in our neighborhood who have opted out of participating in the predominant expressions of the church that rely heavily on attraction. I want to propose seven attributes for growing an incarnational community which instead of expecting the unchurched to leave their turf, takes the opposite approach and goes forth engaging the unchurched on their territory. So let me begin by the first attribute for growing an incarnational community in your neighborhood. Number one, nurture relationships where one lives and works. This posture seeks to do life together with others in the context of where the majority of life is spent, mainly at home or work. As you share common spaces with others, you nurture relationships and build a pathway to authentic community. This works well in a condo or apartment building. The second attribute is church life is exper experienced where life is happening. Church is primarily experienced out in the neighborhoods where life is happening. In the day-to-day -day life, questions emerge and opportunities arise to walk with others on their faith journey. The sanctuary is located in the midst of backyard cookouts, dinner parties, little league games, and through everyday encounters. Number three, less structure and programming. There is a team approach to ministry with greater flexibility and adaptability to respond to the movement of the Holy Spirit in the neighborhood. It requires being attentive to where God is already working and joining Him wherever He leads. Four, collaborative approach to service. Leadership develops organically as spiritual gifts and God-given abilities surface within the community. There is a collaborative approach where participation is encouraged from the whole community and each person brings their unique contribution. 5. Success through testimonials. Success is measured through the stories shared regarding how God has been active and working in the midst of the faith community to bring about restored relationships with Him and each other, which is in contrast to success measured by attractional churches that focus heavily on uh, the numbers. 6. Gathering in whatever space is available. Gatherings often occur in homes, community centers, common areas, or coffee rooms. Whatever space is available is utilized, providing minimal upkeep and cost. It is a time for support, uh, connection, and learning in a relaxed, informal atmosphere. Number seven, the good news is shared in word and deed. The good news is seen in tangible ways as believers become the hands and feet of Jesus in the neighborhood. Sharing the gospel is usually done in a casual, non-confrontational manner after a level of trust has been built. More often, the gospel is caught rather than taught. So in a few weeks, I will start this workshop on incarnational ministry. 
where I will be providing the practical and biblical implications of incarnational ministry, and I'm going to go into a little bit more depth regarding the four ways in which we engage our communities for Christ. So if you're interested, click on the link that is provided, or you can send me a message, and I will send you all the information that you need in order to be part of the conversation. Thank you for your interest, and God bless. Have a blessed day.